In the world of college football, it's not just about the game. It's also about the aesthetics and the stories behind the teams. Mizzou's unique uniform choices and the upcoming game against Kentucky have created quite a buzz. In this video, we explore the highlighter. Look sported by Mizzou and delve into Pregamine sites leading up to the clash with Kentucky. The highlighter look. The Mizzou Tigers have been known for their distinctive uniforms, and the highlighter look is no exception. Described as loud in gore face and all gold, it has left fans with mixed feelings. While some find it intriguing, others remain puzzled by Mizzou's refusal to go all black or all white. One particularly intriguing aspect is the choice to maintain the gold helmets. Without the oval tiger outline, which has been a source of discussion among fans. Despite the perplexing uniform choices, the football team's performance has been commendable, drawing attention for all the right reasons. In case you missed it, before diving into the uniform controversy, it's essential to catch up on some key updates. Cody Schrader's questionable status for the game against Kentucky raises concerns. Given his significant contribution in the previous game against LSU. Additionally, the secondary depth will need to step up as Ennis Rakestraw is set to miss the game due to a lingering groin injury. Eli Drinkwitz, the head coach of Mizzou, has provided insights into ticket sales for upcoming games. The South Carolina and Tennessee games are well on their way to being sold out, indicating strong fan support. However, there's a concern that the beginning of hunting season might affect attendance numbers against Florida, which would be an annoyance for the program. On the Kentucky side, the team faces its own challenges. A key starting safety will be missing in the game against Mizzou, but they may see the return of offensive lineman Kenneth Horsey, which adds an interesting dimension to the matchup. Exploring Lexington, key. Lexington, Kentucky, is known as the horse capital of the world. This fascinating tidbit sheds light on the city's deep-rooted connection with horses. Surprisingly, celebrities like Bobby Flay and even the Queen of England have housed horses in Lexington. At some point, showcasing its prominence in the equestrian world. Unless you consider Wilco's drummer or a former University of Missouri Chancellor interesting. Despite that, Lexington has something unique to offer an independent baseball team. Called the Counter Clocks, known for producing an elite line of caps. Rock Emixology, a golden recipe. Amid the pre-game hype, there's always room for a refreshing drink recipe. The Gold Rush cocktail is introduced, aligning with Mizu's black and gold color scheme and the upcoming game in Lexington. This cocktail, featuring a Sly 8 dig at Kentucky by using a Utah bourbon, combines to ounces bourbon, 0.75 ounces lemon juice, and 0.75 ounces honey syrup 3 to 1, honey to water. It's a simple yet delicious drink with a higher proof bourbon that complements the raw honey, syrup's oaky sweetness. The citrus adds a balanced touch, making it a refreshing choice for any occasion. Conclusion? As the excitement builds for the clash between Mizzou and Kentucky, the highlighter look, uniform choices, and pre-game insights offer a unique perspective on the upcoming game, whether it's the controversies surrounding the uniforms, the players' statuses, the influence of hunting season on ticket sales, or the fascinating facts about Lexington. It's clear that college football is more than just the game on the field. It's a rich tapestry of stories, traditions, and unexpected twists. And as fans gear up for the game, they can do so with a gold rush cocktail in hand, toasting to an exciting matchup and the intriguing stories that surround it. Cheers to a game that promises more than just touchdowns and tackles. It's a celebration of the spirit of college football.